Hello everybody, and welcome to a very special video from Nancy Drew, The Deadly Device. In this video, we are going to be talking with Victor Lawsett for some period of time. Basically, this is the Victor video. Uh, when we last heard from Victor Lawsett, he was very angry and upset because we had cleared Ryan of all wrongdoing. Let's check back in with Victor and see if he has calmed down a bit. Hi, Nancy. Look, I wanted to apologize for how our last conversation ended. I just want this investigation over. I was so sure it was Ryan. I guess I was just blinded by how much I wanted to wrap things up. I can understand that. The more I think of it, I'm glad it's not her. She always made the place a little more fun. I guess it's time to take a long look at everyone else. Keep an eye out. As we narrow in on the suspect, things might get a little dangerous. As you can see, we have a lot of things that we can talk to Victor Lawsett about. Basically, I should have talked to him earlier, but I did not. So, we can talk to him about everything going back for several hours, all the way back to the start of the game. Can you tell me a little bit about Ellie? She's got that small town girl act down, Pat. I guess I just can't tell who she really is. Ellie and Mason are working together. What?! I thought it was strange, considering how they feel about each other. Double down on those two. They're up to no good. If they're trying to make a sale... What? Put it this way. If they're trying to arrange something like that, it's because Nico isn't alive to stop them. And here's the disturbing thing. It takes months and months to set up a sale. They would have had to start setting it up back when Nico was still alive. Nancy. Nico was a good man. He never deserved this. Please, please close this case, so I can get his work out where he wanted it. Yes, close this case. Pretty, pretty please with the cherry on top, Nancy. What do you think of Mason? Smart kid. Don't know much about him. Mason says Nico was stealing from him. Is this true? No, because the work isn't Mason's to begin with. It's a little troubling that he views it that way. Did you know about Nico's diaries? I knew he kept audio notes in his office. He had a player there. No clue how it works. I presume you play it and you can hear the audio notes. Can you tell me anything about Gray? I don't know much about him. He was one of Nico's hires. Nico brought Gray on? Yes. I have no idea why. He's a head case. Watch yourself around him. Understand? I understand perfectly, Mr. Lawsett. Can you tell me a little bit about Nico? He was an amazing scientist. Years ahead of his time. How long have you worked together? Decades. Did you spend any time together outside of work? I don't know if there was much outside of work for Nico. So, no. Yeah, we never hung out. Did you know Ryan was threatening Nico? Do you have proof? I found a note, but she claimed it was a warning, not a threat. <laughs> Likely story. It'd be very convenient for her if you believe that. I saw a video of Gray going into the lab the night of the murder. It looks like he just made himself a prime suspect, if you ask me. Do you think Gray could have killed Nico? I don't know if he did, but I don't doubt he could have. Between you and me, if I didn't want him here to be investigated, I would have fired him immediately. Do not tell him that. I don't know how he might react. It could be really ugly. Gray was shredding some documents. What is wrong with my staff? Could you get to the bottom of that, please? Thanks. Someone knocked me out. What? Are you okay? I am now, but I woke up in a photo lab and someone turned the oxygen off. I could have died. What are you talking about? Ryan said the air being off was a coincidence. That could have been... bad. Ryan needs to keep me up on things like this. All of us need to be able to stay safe. You don't just... do that. Well, I'm glad you were able to make it out. You don't just turn off the oxygen without telling people about it. That... that is just not cool. How did you hear about me? Through a close friend. You've impressed a lot of people, Nancy. 
Why did you hire me and not a big investigation firm? The crew has been questioned a lot, as you can imagine. Everyone's defenses are up. You can pull off the undercover work without drawing too much suspicion. I know it's a long shot, but I've heard good things. And... I already tried the buy the book way, and that got me nowhere. I'll let you go. Talk to you later. As mentioned earlier, when Deirdre Shannon called, she was the person who informed Victor Lawsett about Nancy's detective abilities. Deirdre gave Nancy a good reference. Victor decided to hire Nancy. Security breach in Tesla Coil Lab. Warning. And it appears we have a security breach in the Tesla Coil Warning. If you were watching the previous video, you've seen this before. What are you doing here? I was going to ask you the same thing. This might come as a shock, but no one wants you lurking around here. Why don't you just leave me to my work? I'm not lurking. What's that? Wait! Wait, stop! Someone's activated the machine! You have to shut it all down! Please, hurry! I need to find a way to turn off all of the power. I'm still wondering, what is wrong with Mason? Why is his arm connected to the Tesla coil? As you can clearly see, his sleeves are rolled all the way up, so he couldn't have gotten his watch or his sleeve caught inside the machine. Hmm. In any case, let us save poor Mason's life. There. Got it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Who could have turned that on? No clue. Look. Maybe we can keep this between ourselves, okay? What are you doing? Nancy, we should have a talk. Come on. Nice job. You saved me some paperwork back there. It's unfortunate that we couldn't be meeting under better circumstances. It wasn't exactly fair of me to ask you to take on such a large task. It looks like your ride is going to be a little late. Get settled in the lounge and please, don't touch anything. I'm going to need all of your passes and keys. Where did you even get this? No, I, d I don't even want to know. What's going to happen next? Snow clears, you leave. I leave, hire a professional next time. Killer gets found, killer goes to jail. But Victor, earlier on in this video, you sounded like you were very confident in Nancy's abilities. So what's your next step with the investigation? I'm sorry if I've been anything but crystal clear. I want you off this case. Completely. You've caused enough trouble here. Victor, this is not a very nice thing for you to do. I'll let you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is the Victor video, clearly. And I have to say, it is a completely normal day for Nancy. She saves someone's life, and then she immediately gets fired. Poor Nancy, poor, poor Nancy. So, um, now that the Victor video is over, can I go back to talking in my normal voice now? Do I have to keep talking in the Victor impersonation? I want to talk in my normal voice now. Also, I want to pick up this uh, phone charm. That's a pretty cool phone charm. Anyway, everybody, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the Victor video. See you later, everyone.